Hey guys, thanks for uh, coming back. I think uh, this week's video I'm going to be doing a, uh, or trying to make a dual pane window for the back of this RV door here. I was able to find on Craigslist, I was going to buy a piece of tinted glass for it, but I couldn't find one. Well, I could, but they were so excited. So I ended up finding on Craigslist some free windows. This is the vinyl window. We're gonna pop. We're gonna try to pop this off, take this window out, cut it down to size, and reuse. It could be totally wrong, but I think there's a, a frame with death. All right, what do we got here? Weapons of choice: flathead screwdriver, scraper. Dirty. Looks like they used maybe a hot glue or something. But... Oh, it's flexible. Like a silicone. Oh, nice. So we're just trying to separate that silicone or whatever that's under there from the sash. That is loose. Oh, we got a crack. Uh, uh, this side is a little stiffer. Oh, there goes that crack. Shoot. Oh, well. What's holding you in? And... Come on now. Okay. Nice. I wonder if we can cut this. Always cut away from yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, release. Ah, oh, son of a. <clears throat> Keep on this, maybe. Well, we've definitely proven we can break the glass. Oops. These pieces that we're breaking off are definitely too small to use. <laughs> yeah. We need bigger, bigger pieces, please. Can we get a couple bigger pieces? Let me find my glass cutter. Get a marker that works for gosh sakes. 13 and a quarter by 22 and a quarter. Do we have 13 and a quarter? Oh my gosh. Just 13 and a quarter. Well, that didn't work. You guys fell over. So I pulled out the other glass, and if I use the razor blade, it cracks it. But if I use this scraper, you can get the scraper in there and you can pull the scraper through and it doesn't crack the glass. So hopefully if we don't crack it while we cut it, I'm gonna have to go to glass cutting class or something. Looks like we'll get this piece off whole. Same as last words. Oh, are you kidding? God. Well, can you believe that? Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely. All the way down to the last inch. Is that what that is? Inch? And it cracked on the corner. Uh, well, here we'll try to get this other piece out. This one's not going to work either. There's chips all over the corners of these. Well, let's just put this over here out of the way. Glass cutting 101, right? Let's just try to cut this. Definite line. Get my fingernail stuck in it. Kinda cut on it. Maybe I'm not cutting with the grain. What am I doing wrong? I'm gonna have to go to my instruction manual. YouTube. Alright, let's uh <laughs> let's try this again. I'm gonna, I've seen some guys doing oil on it. So oil that. Like square this up. Should we try to cut it at uh, 22 and a quarter this direction? Quarter. Are we oiled? Do we need oil again? Can you see? Let me move you. going that way. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Note to self, never get a job in a glass shop. What about this way? Here, let's try to let's put it down. Something firm here. Oh, I actually cut something. I cut something straight. We might get one piece of glass. 22 and a quarter, 22 and a quarter. Oil seems to help. Oh. <laughs> Is that one? <sighs> sure breaks easy. 13 and a quarter. Is it really the oil that's doing this? We got one piece of glass, baby. Look at that. One piece of glass. I think there's another piece in here. There is. All right, we got it. We got it, we're professionals. Where can I put this so I don't break it? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I wanna protect this piece of glass with my life. 22 and a quart there. Glass cutter, oil, straight edge. Line up our edge and we got the majority of it. Ah. Oh. Stopped by uh, Ace up here, just up the street, and they were able to cut a piece of glass for eight bucks. So that makes sense. So I'm just gonna clean up this piece of glass that we that we had, and then we'll make the frame. Very close. Close enough for me. We'll make that work. I can see threads on the other side of this. So. 
I think it's a Phillips, looks like. We need to just bend this around one of our pieces of glass. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's there's something in the middle here. I don't know if it's more butyl. Got me. Whoops, sorry. A little bit here. Cut these tabs off. I'll join those two together. So I'm cutting the tab. Bend it. Is that gonna fit in there? Yep. Pretty, pretty spiffy, huh? Wonder with. Side. This will be the inside. Kind of works. Cool. All right. Well, uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow when I get some cleaner. We can clean the inside of the. I've changed the game plan for this window. It was too thick, but I picked up some. I don't know if you've ever seen butyl tape that's on a cord. So it's 3 8 inch. I'm going to use this as the perimeter. And then it's going to seal the glass together. And then we'll caulk it. So let's, uh, let's open that up. Let's take this off. This window should be clean. Just run this around the perimeter. Very sticky. Let's cut this. All right, so there we go. We got the butyl down. That's where we want it on the window. Okay, here we go. I don't know, it's pretty well. There's a couple air gaps in there. I'm gonna fill around the edges with a silicone so you can see where the Butyl is contacting. I think all of this remaining fingerprints and whatnot is on the outside, I hope. I had a bunch of caulk and stuff on this still. Oh, he's a dry one. It don't look too bad. That looks pretty good, actually. Looks clean. I'm just gonna fill this. Gap. There we go. Nice. One dual pane RV door window. Let's clean this window up. Get some of the silicone off of here. All we need to do is break this now. Right? <laughs> Let's finish cleaning this up. Then we'll go and see if we can't determine how much we need to cut off of the uh, existing frame that's there to fit this between it. So this is, whoa, 9 sixteenths. Am I right? Yeah, 9 sixteenths. We'll say 3 eighths. And then that'll give us a compression. Like an eighth of an inch with this, maybe. Just trying to get a line that I can follow. I have a dust storm out there, so we're going to see if we can cut this. Alright, it's going to take some doing, but it's going to go through it. Not the most perfect cut, but there's going to be a cock sealant there too. <laughs> that little plastic cover just came flying up. This little cutting blade gets some vibration in it, don't it? You can hear when it smooths out. <laughs> or maybe we just go faster and melt through it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's keep going. Oh, 
almost almost got one done. Oh wait. Nope. Gotta finish this end here. We done? What a mess. So we'll try this. We'll take this off of both sides. We'll try the window, see if we can't get it to fit in there. How much how much off it is, if it's off. We'll pull off this other side. Oh man, that butyl tape is disgusting. Man, it is stickiest, nastiest. <laughs> it's like goo. I'm putting some brake cleaner on it so everything doesn't stick to it as bad because this stuff is goo. The only thing that cleans it up is going to be brake cleaner. Like that. Let's wipe this down. Let's mark this one. This thing's having a hard time marking. Get what we get. And we'll be happy with it. Down to need to find a pair of glasses. Onward we go. All right, there it is. Clean this up. Just trying to get all the boogers out of here. All right. Okay. Set a window on there somewhere. Set that on there. And that will be our window. Well, that's inch and a half. I think that'll probably fit in there actually. Whoop. All right, that butyl around this window. Trim some of this up. Alright. So let's go stick this on the back. This is the outside. Alright, let's pull the paper off of this beautiful. Let's look at the inside. Let's see. Uh, we could go up with it. Other than that, that looks pretty good in this opening. Squeeze it on here. I got some T-Rex tape. I'm gonna put it on parts of this window just because we don't have anything to hold this in. If I push it on it, I don't want it to be uh, falling on the floor. You know what I mean? This stuff is so sticky. This T-Rex. Okay, there's that. So we've got, let's just put the window in there and we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna take this trimmer. Holy smokes, she fits. Can you believe that? Hot diggity dog. All right, well, let's, uh, how do we bond this? Should we put a layer of, Butyl tape out on this. Let's get another piece. Just wouldn't be right if I didn't have to go get something. Whoa, I stepped off the ladder. Put our finger there and tear. Let's figure out where this needs to go. There, I'm gonna go right there. But let's get this guy in here. 
girl or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. I just need a screw of some sort, right? Just to keep it from falling out. All right, guys. There it is. A dual pane window. Trim that butyl and then caulk it. Okay. Frog tape. I'm not going to be uh, terribly picky. I just don't want it to be a huge mess. One more piece over there. Okay. Whoops. Almost lost my flip flop. Let's cock this now. Now, we can pull some tape. Or should we smush it out and then pull some tape? Well. I almost feel like I want to smush it out now. Good sham. Good. Good. Now we can pull some tape. Silicone right across me. There. Beautiful. It is. Almost looks mirrored, doesn't it? I've got some mirrored tint that should match these guys coming. I'll put that on the inside and then I'll pinch it back together. So I'm not going to do anything right now on the inside. I'm just going to leave it. I think for a day night shade or a nighttime shade, I think I'm just going to make a button piece of fabric or something to go over this so I can just stick it to the screen or to this window this screen frame and then it'll just be a gap in between there cool all right guys that is how we do a dual pane window on this door uh, we'll see how it works it's probably gonna have condensation in it uh, we'll know when it starts cooling off so we'll keep uh, updated on it. So till next time, guys, I guess. See you later. Bye.